Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing part two of the makeup mistakes I used to make series. I could probably make like 10 of these videos because all makeup is is a continuous learning journey. You're never gonna get to the point where you're like, yep, I'm 100% like perfect, I know everything. No, you're always learning. You're always gonna look back and be like, oh Jesus Christ, what was that? Like, it's just gonna happen. <laughs> So if you missed my first video in this series, I'll go ahead and throw it up above. But back then, I talked about five mistakes I used to make, and now I have five more. So before we jump into it, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it. If you want to see part three, let me know down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can catch the rest of my videos as they come out. Mistake number one for this video, number six overall, if you're looking at the series, was I used to apply foundation, like thick BB creams, my first foundations, with the wrong tools. And because they didn't work with those tools, nothing worked. Nothing worked. Back in high school, I like tried foundation like once or twice because my roommate used to wear foundation and she would put it on because she had really bad acne. My skin wasn't too bad, but I was kind of interested in makeup back then and I tried to do what she did. And all we had were, I'll throw a picture up, but they're like those little round cosmetic sponges you would get like in the old school like compacts. <laughs> oh my God, so I think there actually was one in this Clinique compact because of course Clinique. Um, but it would be about this size, it'd be round, and it would just be a hard, like, sponge. And that's what you were supposed to use to put your foundation on. We would apply liquid foundation with that sponge. And we wouldn't wet it, no. <laughs> we would just, like, literally pour out the foundation onto the sponge and just go like this. We wouldn't set it or anything. We... That's literally all we did, like that and then eyeliner. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, it didn't stay in place. It didn't last throughout the day. It looked really bad, but we were trying. We were, we were little babies and we were trying. <laughs> so of course, if 25 year old Monica could go, go back to 17 year old Monica and be like, stop it, use a sponge, wet it. For the God's sakes, wet the sponge and get a powder just to put on top, just to set it, then then you'd be okay. Of course, nowadays I use either one of my flat kabuki brushes or I use one of my beauty blenders or one of my drugstore alternatives to the beauty blender. Always prime and always set. Always prime and always set. Mistake number two. Now this isn't a big difference, but when you're doing a full face and if you're going like glam with your eyeshadow, it definitely looks off. If you have a full face done, you have nothing on your lower lash line, like nothing. Like it just looks blank, it looks kind of strange. I was hesitant because I saw like people on YouTube doing it and I saw that it looked pretty, but I thought for some reason if I put eyeshadow down there, then it would look weird. Like it would look like I messed up or did something wrong. No, it's the exact opposite. If you bring eyeshadow onto your lower lash line, you blend it out, you smoke it out, it really helps bring your whole look together. It really just finalizes your eye look and it really makes it look more natural because I used to think like oh if I put it down there then it's definitely gonna look like I'm wearing makeup obviously well a obviously you're wearing makeup but b it actually helps make it look more like it's actually on your eye <laughs> mistake number three was that I never used a glitter primer especially for a girl that has super hooded lids to not use a glitter primer. I don't use it just for glitter. Whenever I put a shiny or anything on my mobile lid, I'm using a glitter primer. I would prime my eyes. This is after I learned how to prime my eyes. I would set the primer and then I would go in with a full look and I would put a beautiful, like really sparkly, shiny, like shade all over my lid. But by the end of the day, it'd be gone. And I would be like, oh, what's wrong? You know, I primed, I did this, I did that. It took me forever to realize because I have hooded eyes and my mobile lid is constantly doing this all day that I needed a little bit more to make the shadow stick there. And it wasn't until I got a glitter glue. If you've seen any of my recent tutorials, you'll know that I love the NYX glitter glue. It's $6 a bottle. I've been using mine for months. Like it the tube lasts a long time. And if you get it at Ulta, you can use coupons, you can get it on sale, go nuts. If you have hooded eyes, the first thing I'd recommend you do is get a glitter primer because it'll change everything. The next mistake I used to make was I used to apply mascara and then curl my lashes. I don't know who I thought taught me that. I don't know why I thought that would be good because what would happen is I was I would clump up as much mascara as I could and then I would curl them and by curling them I was smushing all the lashes together. I was making them look like 
this. Like it wasn't a nice kind of like lash look. It was just like meh. Like, like a pure like 90 degree angle back. They looked horrible. But for the longest time I didn't change it because I was just like, oh, that's how you do mascara. No, that's not how you do mascara. Once I started curling and then putting on mascara, I realized, oh, okay, so that's actually how it's supposed to look. And the last mistake I will talk about in this video is that I would do my makeup too close to my mirror or with a mirror that was way too magnified. When you're doing makeup, unless you're going for like the super zoom in Instagram photo, you need to do your makeup in a mirror that is at least like a foot in front of you. Because if you start zooming in too close, then you're not seeing the big picture that is your entire face. Like you can zoom in on one eye, do your brow, do your whole eyeliner, do everything perfectly, and then do the other eye and then, you know, zoom out and realize your brows are like crooked. Or you would see like you didn't do your wings even. It's really important. You can zoom in to do like really detailed work with the liner, but don't forget to keep pulling yourself back. I had to keep reminding myself to pull back look at it from further away because I would get too involved with like the details especially when it came to like brows and liner just I would zoom in to do my brows and then I would like take a look flip it back to normal and take a look at myself and my brows looked ridiculous and it's because I was doing them too close to the mirror you really do need I like to have a hand mirror and my magnification mirror in front of me so if I need to zoom in I'll flip it and do the zoom in but I'm still looking at myself in my hand mirror so that I'm not getting too out of control too crazy <laughs> but then for the most part if I'm not doing detail work I have my regular mirror a foot in front of me on my vanity that way I can see from the distance of an average person in day-to-day -day life what the makeup looks like this isn't just for brows or eyeliner, it's also for foundation, it's for powder, it's for blush, it's for contour. Just make sure you're not doing it too close to the mirror because you want to be able to just take a step back and see how the whole picture looks together. So those are five more makeup mistakes that I used to make. Let me know down below if you want to see another video because I could definitely do another video or like five. Thank you so much for watching. I hope if you liked it you'll subscribe and like this video and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!